Good morning. It's a pleasure to join you all from our institution today. Uh, well, it's and, afternoon uh, for you, isn't it? Yeah, we, it's, uh, it's afternoon 12.50 for us. Uh, now I have uh, with me Dr. Vishnu, who is my senior fellow, and uh, Sister Ivarani, who is the scrub nurse. Dr. Srija Pavitran is the imaging person. And we are showing uh, a, a new device called as Hartex device. After the initial PowerPoint presentation, I'll show the, show the device and then move further. Uh, um, good morning. This is uh, our case is a 30 year old lady uh, who had the AST detected during her pregnancy. Her daughter also has an AST which was device closed. Clinical examination she is having a normal S1 uh, wide split S2 and a 3 by 6 ejection systolic murmur. And this is a chest x ray which is showing uh, see, uh, cardiac thoracic ratio of 50 percentage and there is pulmonary plethora. Here is the ECG which shows a sinus rhythm with normal PR interval, normal QRS axis and there is an RSR pattern in V1. Here, this is the, uh, these are the uh, trans -thor uh, thoracic images, echo images, where we can see that there is RARV dilatation and then uh, there is a second ASD. Uh, in, uh, and now coming to the trans esophageal echo, uh, in the zero degree, we can see that uh, there is a defect and uh, the septum primum is slightly deviated to the left. In the 66 degree also, we can see that the se uh, septum primum uh, deviation to the left is well seen in the image. This is a 90 degree bicaval view in which we can see the SVC and IVC and the uh, primum septum, is uh, that is the AST and the primum septum is slightly deviated to the left. In the, uh, so in the when we are uh, uh, rotating the probe slightly to the iota, the uh, deviation of the septum to the left becomes very clear. In this, um, color compare image, we can see that there is an AST which is shunting left to right and uh, the uh, septal deviation is also very uh, prominent. This is called the uh, malaligned atrial septum or the uh, spiraling atrial septum. So uh, final dimensions are, uh, it's a 19 millimeter AST which is uh, lo uh, longitudinally oval and with a spiraling septum with malalignment of primum septum and secundum, RARV volume overload is there with mild TR and no significant pH. Uh, uh, Alka, can you go back and uh, run that PowerPoint two slides back when the movie of the image was seen, uh, the transesophageal? Uh, Shaq, this is a, uh, uh, just the, the, can you run both, both the images? Yeah, here we can we can appreciate uh, Shaq that there is a mild malalignment of the septum, the the septum primum, uh, which is coming from the inferior vena cava area, is slightly de deviated more towards the left atrium, more closer to the probe, whereas the limbus, which represents the septum secundum, is slightly more towards the right atrium. Some amount of offsetting, some mild malalignment. So the device that we are going to be uh, showing today, uh, this is the first time I'm using this and I'm seeing this. This is called Hartex device. This was uh, uh, like conceptualized by Dr. Joseph Betacatil. I will I will show the device first. The device has got, uh, can you come? So, uh, Shiva, just to be clear, you haven't used the device before? No, this is the first time I'm using it. Okay. Well, we, just just got, we just got the regulatory approval and uh, it is, uh, it's a very new device shack. It has not been used anywhere in India. I heard that okay. uh, uh, Dr. Tin from Vietnam had used on a, uh, about four or five patients. Uh, I'm just about, slightly worried that you're a bit further away from the table. So if you drop it, then what? <laughs> I'm securely holding. Okay. I'll tell you that. I will tell you the, the, the features of this device. Number one is the screw end is a little longer. So this makes it easier to grasp if there is a possibility of embolization. Number two, it has got equal left atrium and right atrium disc, more like some of these scribriform devices and all. Then number three, it has got differential waste. So if I spread it out, we can appreciate that what is closer to my finger that is closing the screw, I will just separate it out. So there is a waste that runs two or three steps. So there is a there is a higher, there is a larger waste, then there is an intermediate waste, and there is a smaller waste. So for example, this particular product can be used for devices that can be, this is, 
it can be used for a 24 it can be used for a 22 similarly the device that I have kept here is one that can go for 14 16 and 18 now having said that these are the three different uh, different differences number one is left atrium and right atrial discs are similar number two is the screw is longer and number three it has got differential waste and it is supposed to be a little slimmer so it the the, the waste distance is just three to four millimeter now since I'm handling the device for the first time I'm appreciating that the device is a little softer it's quite soft compared to any other nitinol products that we have used but whenever I create a concavity on the left atrial disc the two discs separate out and this separation so this separation is quite consistent each time I press the two edges it reforms but if for some reason if I get the left atrial disc little concave that means if suppose if I have to pull the device and if I get it concave the device has got this memory it, it opens out I was shown one of the picture that was from Vietnam a fluoroscopic image on an LAO projection where the two discs were slightly separated and now I can understand why it is so if the left atrial disc becomes concave this becomes slightly separated but if it is flat the device regains its memory so I'm thinking that if after deployment if the device gets this profile I probably might push the cable a little bit and see what happens so let us let's see what how, how the de device behaves in real life. So whilst you're doing that Shiva one obvious question is if um, in the defect that you're closing the waste uh, uh, you get the wrong waste if you like uh, in the defect would would that you know so the bigger waste but you needed the smaller one would that stretch the device too much possible shack actually see the thing is I am not I am not precisely able to understand also the reason being see the, the the waste is arranged in such a way that the right atrial part is having the largest waste I, I'm now holding the right atrial part I'll make it little concave so that it loses its memory now I'm holding the right atrial part the right atrial part has got the largest size and the left atrial part has got the smallest size I feel that probably it, the device will get remodeled into the heart irrespective of whatever be the size uh, of the of the device and I think this differential waste uh, really does not uh, like I think it is not going to be clinically relevant but one thing is that the number of devices are very less the total because it is it is covering three three sizes the total number of devices starting from say 10 millimeter to 40 millimeter there are only eight devices yes. so so that makes the inventory easier now I, I, I have to I have to see how it behaves within the heart first uh, things first what the life okay Okay, and so, so uh, uh, for this defect, are you going to balloon size or just yes. going to rely on the yeah. no. Uh, no, I will, I, See, basically, we got a size of around 18 to 19 millimeter by transesophageal echocardiogram that was shown a short while ago. It, this was yeah, recorded no. yesterday. Now, yes. I will show you the. Uh, can you can you run the yes. balloon sizing? I because we normally don't balloon size at all. However, yeah, in this particular range. patient, well, we decided to balloon size because this is, this is the first time that we are using. I'm getting okay. almost around the same 19 millimeter. I didn't use much of pressure at all. I just inflated the moment a very subtle waste appeared immediately. I stopped it. So it was not too much stretched. Here also I'm getting close to 19 millimeter. So the device that I'm, I'm choosing is the one that matches for 20, 22, 24, all the three. Uh, so uh, the, yeah. the, okay, the other disc is 14, 16 and 18. Since I am getting 19, I am not inclined to use this, the one that is supposed to go for 18. About the two, de two devices, uh, this device has got a diameter, a total di di disc diameter of 30 millimeters. I'll show you. It's a 30 millimeter uh, uh, disc. And this one is 40 millimeter. The one that I'm planning to use is 40 millimeter. So okay. I, War Warakan's got a question for you. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Shiva. Hi, um, Warakan. Good morning. Hi, hi, Shiva. Um, good morning, and good morning for your team. Um, just, just um, to quick um, asking about because it's very challenging anatomy. 
in terms of the myeloid septum and also there's a separation between septum primum and secundum. So my my gut feeling is when you deploy the device, it looks likely that the it's uh, the disc on the left and the right side gonna flare. So um, I'm not sure whether you are considering of using 3D imaging to show us on that um, or not. So that would be great if you can. Uh, also, second thing, um, it looks as if it's a little bit more flexible um, on this device. So maybe it may conform uh, better to this anatomy. Um, I'm looking forward to see that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, sure, Varakan. I, I'm also new to this device and I'm I, actually yes. this uh, uh, this particular product still has not got its own delivery system and its own delivery um, a cable so i'm using an amplazer cable as of now i'm loading uh, it on a 10 french shot introducer sheath and pushing it through a yeah, 12 french cook mullein sheath the probably i think they the product they may get a yeah, um, de dedicated delivery system in future. As of today, uh, we are having an amplazer cable. Let me just ask uh, Bushra on the echo appearance. Bushra, spiral septum, malaline septum that you saw. Uh, any worries at all? So a 3D would have been really helpful here. I would have, I would have liked that because uh, what it looks like is that the primum septum is attaching. Um, anterior and superiorly on the septum just from the okay. 2D images. Shiva, if you just stop there for a second. Yeah. Uh, Shaq, uh, actually, Do I they? want to see how the device behaves. So I, well, I okay, Flora Store. That's this. what we wanted to see as well, but that was too quick. Uh, uh, oh, can can you show the echo uh, once? Yeah, Bushra, I will tell you the, the reason why we decided not to put a transesophageal probe today. The septum was very thin. Yesterday, actually, I was doing a 3D transesophageal in the outpatient clinic. Uh, I I could, the, the whole septum, the primum septum was so thin that the 3D imaging was extremely suboptimal. And... Uh, and so, uh, and moreover, today we have another uh, close to about uh, nine patients uh, lined up for the day-long transmission. So I thought I will save on a transesophageal echo and uh, try to make it faster. Uh, I, 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 Dr. Srija is showing now the echocardiographic image. I'm going to do okay. a limited beagle now. Yeah, the, just, uh, question. Yeah, Shiva, just hold on for a second. Uh, there's a question. question. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I'm, I'm Am from Cairo, Egypt. So the obvious advantage of this device is that it has two waist, so can it adapt uh, to many sizes? Uh, so how do you choose which waist you you will center the device? Yeah. If you center it to the left side waist, so how do you recenter it to the right side? If you center it to the right side from the start, so you can pull the device to jump to the left side waist, but how do you, do you reverse it? Very important technical question, Shiva. But, That's what but, I was but, alluding but, uh, to. I, I, think, I, I don't think we have any control over which waist I am catching, which waist I am deploying. It's a spiraling septum. So the septum primum is in one side and secondum is on the other side. So I am just looking at whether the septum primum falls into one of the waist and secondum falls into one of the waist and grips the device. I really feel that this particular concept of pulling it towards the right atrium or pushing it towards the left atrium and trying to get the device grasped onto one particular waist, I really don't think all so, these things will be possible. So you mean because, so you mean because this is spiral septum that one septum primum would uh, center itself in one waist and the secundum in the other waist? Somewhere. In a spiral some, fashion somewhere. along the waist of the device also? Somewhere like that, yeah. I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think we probably should not read too much of science into this differential waste. It is, it, it, it is a way of reducing the number of devices in the inventory. That's it. Uh, and also, also, Shiva, the way you deployed it, yeah. it's going to be very difficult to have exact positioning of whichever waste you wanted. Yeah, I, 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 I think so, Shaq. I don't think, I don't think in this device there is, we can, we can very plan it in such a way that I will have only an 18 millimeter disc that is engaging. Yeah. We know that the yeah. Nitinol's property is that the left atrial disc never fully opens till the part of the right atrium itself comes, right atrial disc itself is open because it's still constrained. 
as yeah. as long as the waist is constrained the la disc is more like a ball it's not like a disc so that okay. concept of uh, you know uh, like catching uh, the distal waist mid waist proximal waist it doesn't make real sense for me uh, shrija is showing good pictures that it has caught in almost all the places it's just a simple thoracic echocardiogram sorry to bushra that she is not being given the opportunity to comment on a transesophageal the the septum was too thin that the pictures on 3d was very suboptimal and i I'll, I'll try to see one lifted tree, LAO view to see what is the amount of bulkiness of this device. Can we go to the LAO? And I want it quite magnified when I go to LAO. Yeah, go, go, go to LAO. Yeah. Make the device come in profile. This is a Trevisio cable that I'm using. As I told, there is no dedicated uh, device, uh, there is no dedicated sheath as of now. That's enough. No need for cranial. Just go LAO more and more LAO, make that, this is what I was mentioning. Uh, if the left atrial disc becomes concave, the device separates out. Go further LAO, go further LAO, further. So here's a stupid question, Shiva, which waste is in which defect? <laughs> I will show uh, that, I will now show that with a contrast angiogram, with uh, the injection through my uh, sheath, and I will try to profile the septum primum below and the septum secundum above. Uh, go to go to uh, L cranial now. Retain this position, but go Hello. to cranial. Hello. Thanks, Mike. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I have one comment. Yep. Um, very nice presentation, actually. But uh, the the point is, spiral septum means that the posterior and leftward deviation of the septum premium into the left atrium. Mm -hmm. That is why the usual devices will be improvised if we are closing oh, spiral system. This okay. device, because it has two wastes, Why one is compressing the premium and the other one is compressing the second septum. That is why what it may be compressed. Yeah, I was telling her to hold the breath uh, in inspiration so that the diaphragm comes down. Breathe normally. Okay, now show me that first frame when the septum was filling. Enough, enough, enough. Just phrase it. Yeah, yeah, that's enough, that's enough. Okay. No, 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 no. That, that's what, that's what I want. Enough. See, if I, if I have to look at the caudal part, the, 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 I mean, the inferior part, the inferior part of the septum is getting engaged in the larger waist, which is closer to the right atrium. Okay. So, I am this, the septum primum, which is actually deviated towards the left. I have now caught it with my larger waist. Superior Direct. part, superior part, I don't have an, a, a very clear. Go, go back. Just go frame back. Shiva. Yes. Uh, uh, go, I'm going to be back. pretty stupid now, but just looking at the discs, looking yeah. at the TOE appearance, yeah. the two discs go seem far. to be quite a distance apart for that thin septum. Go next. Uh, am I being stupid? Uh, but but, no, but uh, let us let us see on a, a trans thoracic echo uh, shack. It doesn't look very bad. Okay. I will I'll show you now a trans thoracic echo. I will also in the meantime show yes, this device. Shaq, yeah. Shaq, can I can yeah, I where ask are a couple of questions to Shiva? Hi, Bharat. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Bharat. One question here. Uh, uh, no. Shiva, great uh, great uh, demonstration. I have two questions for you. One is the separation between the left and the right atrial disc, as yeah. Shaq pointed out. It. Does it concern point. you from point of view of thrombus formation in the space between the disc uh, and the septum uh, before it endothelializes? That is question number one. And question number two is, if you look at the left atrial disc with that concave formation, by chance, if you have to withdraw this device for whatever reasons, how confident you are that a concave disc will come inside the delivery sheet? Oh, that uh, okay. The second part of the question is easy for me to answer, uh, Bharat. It's a, it's very soft. It's compared to many other devices. This is very soft. I will. I. I it is. It's. It's somewhere intermediate between an ADO 2 uh, thickness and a regular amplazer septal occludus thickness. So retrievability probably is not an issue. And number two, even after you release, if you have to retrieve, 
the screw is quite long that you'll be able to catch it that's the second part the first part is it more looking separated true I, actually I'm, I'm making it look very separated by making the LA disc really concave and there is a quite quite a good amount of separation but this is I'm telling you this is in vitro in true body it may be it may be little lesser see now I can make it fully flat yeah, so but you're making it fully flat with your left hand, but, yeah. but on, yeah. on X-ray... Correct. Yeah. But now, now I will show live echocardiogram. She, Go back to echocardiogram now. See, now... Look at this. Here. Is, Hello. Yes. It's Juan Granada here. Is there a possibility you're, you're putting too much tension in the uh, attachment cable if you relax? I mean, if you push the cable forward, the device is going to compress and we're going to have a better idea where the device is. I told, that, I told that I'm using a Trevisio cable. There is no tension yeah. at all. It's very... Well, all right, very... the tension, tension of the system, I mean. Tension? I, I, I mean, do, mentioned do, that. It is do a, what it's... you did actually outside with the, uh, with the catheter. Well, he used his left hand, didn't he, I to know, squeeze it. Right there. Yeah. Now, forward. if you look at the thoracic echo images, it doesn't look so bulky as what we might anticipate. It's it's actually looking more, if if without any, uh, uh, like prior information, I will pass it off like a yeah, usual AST device. Uh, this is this is the apical four chamber view. Can, can you get a parasternal short axis also? Show the diuretic flaring. There's another question I can't see in the dark. Yeah, hello. This is Apostolo Zikas. Oh, yeah. Uh, this looks like an oversized amplitude device, basically. Uh, it's, it has a longer waist. Looks more like a muscular VSD closure device. I don't understand what is the need of this waist. Uh, just can you explain to us what is the advantage? Uh, I, am, I am equally as informed as you <laughs> because this is the first time I'm using this device and seeing this device. As I mentioned to you, the proposer of this uh, device has mentioned that since there is a differential waste that can go for three diameters, 14, 16, and 18, a single device probably will be enough for covering a 14 to 18 millimeter defects. So thereby making the inventory little less. And in this process, he's also trying to make the, the screw end a little longer and probably tries to avoid a difference between the LA disc and RA disc by making it more similar. I should be given another one to two years of experience with this particular product to comment more and more about this. This is, this is the first time I saw this device about four days ago and we are using this today. So, so, so that, left, that left atrial disc is protruding quite a lot into the left atrium, isn't it? Uh -huh. um, I th can I just can I just make a comment? I mean, when we're discussing what this device is all about, uh, it's it's specifically from as I understand it, it's to do with this offset septum or malaligned septum. And the problem that we have in our current devices is that you are trying to splay a device from the left to the right side and negotiate a large ridge, usually typically the septum secundum, and then it's splayed further because the attachment, usually superior anterior, um, of the primum is. Um, then placed more into the left atrium. So the disc on the left side is then splaying right across with the waist to the right side. So you get this big splay and you end up with two problems. The first is the device may embolize, might yes. milk mark itself out because it's become cotton reels that the, the waist has, or the disc then leaves a gap and you get a residual leak, with both of which are really difficult to sort out one way or the other. And I think the point of this device if it's specifically for this offset septum, is to create a second layer within the waste area to cause it to stop it from basically milking itself out, but at the same time fill the whole hole. So you essentially oversize, which is what we'd like to do with our devices normally, but we can't because they will definitely cotton wheel out if we did that. Okay, Shiva, we've got two minutes or so. Yeah, uh, I think so I see basically us. Shaq, this, the, the, the epical four chamber view uh, that Srija was showing me was looking quite good. Uh, Srija, can you get me one subsified short axis also? Uh, yeah, this is a, a just magnify that. Yeah, the, this this also looks looks decent for me. Put a put a color. Sri. It looks it looks good. The superior vena cable color is seen. The IVC color blue is seen. The 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 device is closed. The the defect is closed now. The device profile. Uh, is looking almost similar to any other device profile. Um, sorry for asking. Um, to me, uh, from Frankfurt, uh, I'm not quite sure about IBC yeah. rim. Is that okay? 
I will see him as caught. Can you color the yeah, yeah. Um, color? The... A leak, tiny leak, or oh. I'm not sure where red color is coming from. Yeah, oh, the, the, the inferior vena cable color is sure. uh, going into the yeah, yeah. LADS and just turning yeah, around. There's no option. Um, Can I? I will, yeah. I will, I will release it so that you will, you will oh, see the same just, pictures. Is, is that post, Thomas? Uh, oh no, Tom, Thomas, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Just one question before you release. In the standard yeah. ASD, you would do a bigger maneuver, and sure, if you yeah. pushed on the device, will you then get rid of the concavity, uh, just I, pushing on the sheath okay. against okay. the right atrial disc? Would that be an option? Okay, I will try it. But being a Trevisio cable, that the, I'm, I'm not able to play. The, I'm not able to play much with the uh, cable yeah. because the Trevisio the, doesn't allow it. Yeah, the Trevisio yeah. does not allow it. Uh, very uh, quickly, we were way behind. My, you had the microphone up. Very quick, brief. Uh, yes, uh, go ahead, Mai. Uh, let's get Press another again. echocardiogram. I can't hear you, Mai. No. Try again. Show the echo big. Uh, can't hear. Is my uh, virtually attending this meeting, or she is physically present there? No, she's here, but uh, okay. microphone is not functioning. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Raphael, I think, is that? Yeah. Oh, Hello. now it's Hello. happening here. Yes, I, uh, can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah, my, I'm able to hear you. Can I? Hi, Shiva. Nice case. But, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, confused about the device and the left atrial disc, which is playing too much to the left atrium. Might it be? Um, um, coat on the uh, pulmonary venous ridge because this is sometimes we see when the amplats are just uh, is uh, is played um, so far apart to the, to the two discs from each other. What do you think? Hmm. Why, when I look at from a close quarter, it looks very sleek and because it looks in, good. On the four chamber here, you can see that um, the upper part of the disc, the upper edge of the disc, might be coat in the left atrium and the pulmonary venous ridge. No, oh, no, no. Okay, pulmonary veins. You show the color. That's the, that's the right lower pulmonary vein. You are able to see that? It's far away. It's in another plane. This device is more anterior. Can, yeah. can, can you see my... Okay. It's, that, well, it's not yeah, in the... Yeah, I can see it now, but it, mm -hmm. it kind of looks bulky. I think you need more. I mean, I don't know. Steve, I can't see the... Very not, yeah, so that's a good view there. Yeah, that's show better. us the... On fluoroscopy, that LAO view I'll, that I'll, you I'll, I'll now show it. I'll just get can one subdivide the and the then... Release? Uh, Shiva, can we see the LO after release? I, I will show you now. I will show you now. Okay. I'm I'm just getting the uh, subzified short axis. Uh, we can magnify on this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, color now. And then we need to move from here. Yeah. It looks good. Okay, now can you go to that LO view and show the device on profile? <coughs> Go f the same level. Yeah. This is more or less See, the same sort of e image that I also saw when some of the images that were done in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City were shared so the, with me. So, yeah, the, so the x ray shows a bigger profile than the echo, but um, yeah. if you say it's flat, it's flat then. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right. So, Shiva, thank you very much. We're way behind. So. Thank you. Uh, Excellent case, excellent demonstration. Well oh, done to you. Thank you very much.